What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and I just woke up from a nap. It was a nice little 20 minute power nap, but uh, we are about to play uh, Lux and his team of Glades. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I know I'm going to mess it up. Super, super nervous for this battle. This, his team is busted. Like his team is actually busted. I don't, I don't know how he was allowed to get what he has, but he has it. Uh, what I'm expecting on the screen, also I'm very cold. My room is freezing right now and I don't understand why. So I'm like shivering really badly and it sucks. Um, words. I'm expecting, I'm expecting these six on the screen. I guess I could see like Nihelago over Comfe, but um, game plan with this is super simple. Oh, so cold. Um, game plan with this is super simple. I'm going to be leading off with my choice banded adamant hair cross and hopefully claiming and kill turn one. The only uh, bad part would be is if he leads off with torn. I have Cosmic Power, Calm Mind, Clefable. I have an Expert Belt, Water Shuriken, uh, two attacks. Um, Excelgore that can actually win if I get rid of his offense. I have a Culberberry, Jellicent. I have a Mega Lottie with three attacks. Um, recover. And then I have a Spadef Mega Steel, uh, a Spadef Regular Steel. Like, sorry. God, I'm freezing. I'm so cold. Okay, we're gonna go with We're gonna go with Enter the Ultra Beasts. This team is pretty lit. Okay, let's see what he leads off. Let's see what he brings. No Tangrowth, okay. No Tangrowth and no no uh, Nihelago, which is really good. Um, I did see Heliolisk in my mocks a little bit. Um, Surf is a little problematic, however, my Megalotti does a lot of work to his team. Um, I also realized I forgot to nickname my mons after I gen them, so that was pretty lit. Uh, yeah. Heracross is just my overall best lead. If he leads off with Torn, I'm pretty I'm, I'm pretty confident as to what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go right into my Jellicent. Um, just so that way I can start, like, Doing a little bit of damage to some stuff with Toxic. Uh, he doesn't really have the best switch ins to my Jellicent. God, I'm so cold. I'm shivering. Also, my shirt is green, so it's like disappearing. It's so funny. If he leads off with his Uxie, that's best case scenario. Or his, um, I mean, you know what? I'm okay with this because I take everything outside of a Z free shock. And if he wastes that now, my clef can actually set up on him. And he can't break clef. So. Part of me wants to go right into my Jellicent just to see. Because this thing lives a shit ton of hits. But weakening, weakening this thing down is really, really good. It's really good. 
because I do still have my Clef and I have my Lottie and I have a bunch of other things. I'm going to click Mega Horn. If I'm Scarfed here, he would lose this thing. He's going to go into his um, either Torn or his uh, Comfey. He goes into Comfey, which is fine by me. Okay, that's defensive Comfey. That is defensive Comfey, which is really, really good. Get some early damage on it, and I can just go right into my Steelix. And I think that's where I'm going to get up my Stealth Rock. Uh, I could start firing off Gyro Balls, but truthfully, Stealth Rock plus Toxic does enough to his team. And if he goes into Mega Blaziken, I just click Earthquake on it. Never let it set up for free. This guy's team is so stupid busted. I have a feeling he's going to go for a synthesis here, which, good play. Goes for Draining Kiss, even better for me. Okay. Um... So I kind of sort of want to just click Toxic first to start getting some damage off on some of his other Mons, um, but Stealth Rock is looking really, really nice. So I'm going to go for Stealth Rock first. 25% on Torn, 12% on Blaziken, 12% on Heliolisk, and 25% on Kyurem Black is looking super, super nice. He's probably going to switch out here into his Heliolisk or his Torn. I mean, I mean his UT. I don't know why I said his Heliolisk. But this is fine. I'm just going to go for Toxic here. He goes for his own Stealth Rocks. Which is fine. Which is fine. And I missed the Toxic, which is fucking awesome. It's like the second Toxic I've missed in like two weeks. He's going to go for U-Turn here. Uh, this is fine. Nothing that he goes into can really effectively deal with me. And nothing that he goes into really wants to take a Toxic. So, um, so yeah, this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. If he goes into his uh, Torn here, which is Torn. Ooh, Heliolisk. Okay. Um... Helios with Spec Surf doesn't take me out. He's leftovers. Interesting. I wonder why. I could fire off an earthquake here. Um, his Surf is going to do about 50% to me, less after Stealth Rocks. So Earthquake is just all around safe. Uh, no matter what he goes into, I can click Toxic again after that. Um, This is really, really good. This is really, really good. Kind of wish I hit the first Toxic, because if I hit Toxic on Yuxi, I would be in a phenomenal position. Um, his Comfey is two-shot at this point. However, I don't want him to Drain and Kiss me, do a lot of damage, and then get out of two-shot range. So, that's pretty important. Let me see how much I do with Earthquake to Comfey. Forty-five to fifty-three. He's at about seventy-five right now. 
So I need to get them a little bit weaker. A little bit weaker. And then I can uh, click Earthquake. He goes for Surf. This is not going to kill me. And Earthquake should kill this thing off. Yep, sweet. So, Steelix kills Heliolisk with EQ. And I'm back at about 50%. This means I actually do live a Cure Mirth Power, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it does 49.7% exactly, and I'm at 49%. Um, Blaziken coming in, I'm okay with. Main reason being, I still have a bunch of my checks, and I'm never going to allow this thing to set up a Swords Dance in my face for free. Literally ever. So, I'm going to just click Earthquake. I never want this thing to get up a free Swords Dance. That would be unbelievably stupid. Terrible play. Goes for Fire Blast. Does this kill me? Yeah. It's really weird that he's special. Really, really weird. Really, really weird that he's special. However, this means I can kind of sort of just go into my Lottie and start clicking buttons. I can also drop in my Jellicent, because his water immunity is gone, and he doesn't really have a good switch into it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this thing being special is really, really good. It means I never have to worry about it being source sense, only to take Steelix off the screen. So, um, Heliolus kills Steelix with... Uh, also, it wasn't Heliolisk, it was Mega Bull Azekin. Um, here, Scald is just all around safe. Um, if he goes into his Kyurem, he's risking a Scald burn. If he goes into his Torn, I can actually tank hits from it. Um, Okay, so he's going to withdraw. And he goes into Torn, which is fine. Uh, if I can get a Scald Burn here, that'd be amazing. He's not AV. I got a crit, and I got a burn. Holy shit. That's insane. Um... I kind of just want to go for a recover. But part of me also wants to just switch out. Since he's not a Salt Vest and he is pretty offensive, my Clef is going to struggle to set up on this thing. I think Cosmic Power is a lot more valuable than Calm Mind right now. Um, I'm going to go for a recovery right here. I feel like he's going to go for U-Turn to try to get some health back on this thing. Um, so me being at full health is really, really good. And if I can Toxic this thing, I'll be even more set. Um... I kind of didn't want to click Toxic there because I knew he wouldn't, like, he would. He was either going to U-turn or switch out entirely. Um, and Comfey can't really touch me. Granted, I can't do a whole, whole lot back to it, but...
like his Giga Drain is doing 29% max to me, and that's if he has some special attack investment. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Toxic here. Uh, let's see what he has. He goes for Calm Mind. Okay, if I can hit this Toxic, uh, he's Mono Draining Kiss. Which, after this Toxic, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Taunt. Um, prevent him from setting up any longer, and he will eventually die to Poison. Even if he is Heal Bell, I can uh, get some nice Toxic damage racking up on him. And I also always have my Lottie to click Psy Shock against it, and I know that um, I know that this thing could be packing. Uh, well, it is packing Draining Kiss, and that it will always out prioritize me. But I, as long as it's stuck to like one Calm Mind, it should be fine. Yeah, sweet. Okay. So I need to watch very closely to make sure that Taunt wears off when I expect it to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Scald here. If he's Mono Draining Kiss, he's not doing much to me still. He's only recovering 18%. This is only doing like 22% to me? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So Scald plus Toxic should be doing a decent amount to him. There is also always still the chance of me critting him as well, so. I'm going to click Scald again here. He's going to go for the U-turn. This is great. So now that I know that he's Calm Mind, I never really want to leave in anything that I can just set up on for free. Um, so, ah, well, Clef. I can actually beat it with Clef. Um love this is torn he's not gonna appreciate these rocks plus scald plus burn yeah sweet okay jellison kills torn with scald that's really really good and believe it or not i actually do still take a fusion bolt from kiram Unless he's uh, life orbed. So 77% to me, I believe I'm at like 80. Well, no, he hit me with a thing, so it, uh, uh, it's a little iffy. Okay, so here I believe, I believe I click Toxic on this thing, right? Or do I recover up? Recovering would mean that I can still beat down the Comfe. I'm going to click Recover. Memento. Yeah, he's a pretty big fan of Memento, Yuxi. Like, he's brought it multiple times now. Um... Yuxi kills itself. However, this is still fine because I do have my clef. Uh, this is Blaziken, correct? Yes. Okay. So, here's the dealio. With a Scald damage, like with a Scald off here, he will still be in range of Water Shuriken from my Excel Gore, which is massive. Uh, and I will still have my Clef to beat down the Comfe. So I still just click Scald here. I live almost every single hit. He He's never going to get this sub up against me. Ever. Yeah. 
even if he's max HP, I'm never going to let him do this. I'm just never. I refuse to allow a Mega Blaziken to get behind a sub. I'm not stupid. So he's going to go for Sunny Day. Interesting. So he's going to do 16 to 20. Okay. This is so heat. <laughs> um, however, I don't think it, I don't think it can still beat my Blaziken or my Jellicent because if he's 252 modest fire blast, it's doing 37% to me. He cannot sub up on me as I'm clicking scald. It's literally impossible. Um, and no matter what, after this scald damage, he will be in range of water shuriken from my Excel Gore. He's also in range of, well, yeah. So now I just click Scald here. Solar Beam, oh my god. Does this kill me? No, it doesn't, it's a 74% maximum. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And his sub is now broken, which is amazing. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Sub, Sunny Day, Fire Blast, Solar Beam. Okay. So now I'm going to let the timer run down just a little bit. I'm not timer stalling him uh, per se. However, I, uh, I do know my way out of this. Like, I do know my way out of this. I'm gonna click Scald here as he clicks Solar Beam again. Jellicent dies to Blaziken Solar Beam. Okay, I'm gonna let the timer go down. I'm gonna be like, I have no idea what to do. Um, actually, my Lottie tanks this all the time. Um, like all the time. Uh, however, you go ahead and take Jellison off the screen for you guys. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I think I just go right into Lottie. Actually, no, I need Lottie to be at full health in case he has Choice Scarfed Curum. I need Lottie at full health. Okay. And now we will go for Water Shuriken. Excelgore kills Blaziken with Water Shuriken. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so hyped that worked out. I'm so hyped that worked out. <laughs> oh my god. That's phenomenal. Odin, this is um, Kiram. Okay, so... <laughs> Kiram actually can't take this Focus Blast. And I miss. Of course. That's why I never run anything with this Excel Gore. I never run Focus Blast, ever. Because I miss every single time. Like, without fail, I miss. So, Excel Gore dies to Curum Fusion Bolt. Okay. And this is where I go into my Lottie, and I click Draco. If he goes into Comfey, it's a little problematic, but honestly, I think that hitting this Draco is super important. 
it's funny if he was if i brought unaware clef like i brought the past three weeks he would struggle to break it he would struggle i just need to land this draco that's it lit megalodios kills curum with draco meteor And now he goes into this thing. I'm going to go directly into my clef. And I'm going to set up alongside this thing. It is the way that I win with having the best differential. And eventually, I will set up enough to where my stored powers will be doing so much that I don't care what he sets up to. Uh, it'll take 12 turns, but it will happen. And if his last move is Taunt, so if he's Calm Mind, U-Turn, Draining Kiss, Taunt, and not uh, like Aromatherapy, then I win here just by spamming Cosmic Power as it is. So, uh, it's great for me no matter what. Sorry, I just realized I still have Kyurem on the screen. I really want to win this with a good differential because this guy's really, really good. He has a really good differential, or a really good, um... That's what I'm looking for. He has a very, very good, um, season so far. He's 2-1. Uh, I want to ensure that I, I win this game. Uh, and I want to win it with good differential. He can set up all he wants. I'm going to set up right along with him. Once I get up to plus two defense, I'm going to also spam Calm Mind. Um, I kind of sort of just want a Cosmic Power Clef for the thumbnail. And if he dies to the Toxic damage, that would also be pretty good. Uh, I don't really know what Toxic him, but as of right now, it looks like that's how he's going to die. Yeah, I think he's just going to die to Toxic, is what he's going to end up going for. Unless unless he has something, I don't know what he could possibly have at this point. Water Shuriken and Excelgore was pretty heat, though. Like, that was pretty heat. Okay, so I want to check my boosts real quick to see if, like, I can just kill him. I'm at plus two defense, plus one special attack, plus three spadef. Stored power is doing nothing to this thing. So, unfortunately, I do have to keep setting up. Um, right. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to risk him having any form of healing. Okay, sweet. So now we're on an even playing field with uh, Spadefs. I'm at plus four. He's at plus four. And Stored Power will kill him after this. So that's good. Yep, Stored Power kills him. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stall him out all the way down to Toxic. I'm going to kill him with Stored Power here. Super unfortunate that he didn't have like um, Heal Bell or Aromatherapy for him. And he goes for Draining Kiss again. Uh, I'm pretty positive that my Stored Power will kill him even after he crit me. Holy shit. Bro. Okay. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I'm going to soft boiled up. Hopefully he doesn't crit me again. If he does, that's game. Okay, good. I'm sorry to soft boiled up there, dude. I really am. I didn't want to have to, but I 
I couldn't risk it. That was that was a terrifying crit. So, um, Comfey dies to Toxic from... Was it Jellicent? Yes, from Jellicent. Sweet, so Jellicent got a kill. Awesome. Um, so I think that is game. Yep, sweet. Nice 3-0 victory over a team that I stressed out over for so freaking long. GG to my man Lux. Uh, I'm sorry for the stall war at the end. That really does suck to go out that way. However, it was an awesome time playing you. I'm 100% positive I'm going to be seeing you in playoffs. Um, thank you for taking the time out of your day to play me, my man. I really do appreciate it. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Make sure you watch the team builder next week. I made a bunch of transactions to the team because it's about that time where... Um, I've won four games with this team. I'm getting to the point where I know that I need to change up the team for playoffs because I don't want exact mirror matches for playoffs. So uh, that's what I've done. Uh, so make sure you guys watch that next week. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. And again, GG to my man Lux. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.